Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. It's great to have you. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, welcome as well. Appreciate you being here. And as a quick reminder to all, you know, my focus, you know, my mission here on the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe, when you choose to like the videos, when you choose to share the information, uh, you choose to comment, you know, helps me, you know, spread that word even further. So if you've not yet done so, please subscribe, please like, you know, please share, you know, please offer comments. And uh, to learn more about me uh, and how we can help take your business to that next level and how in additional ways you can support the channel, you know, please check out those links below. And kind of in conjunction uh, with our topic here today, you know, check out the links below on uh, on funding and financing for your business. Uh, if you're brand new at this, you need funding, we can help you get it. Uh, if you're in business uh, and you're you need funding to you know get the ship back on course, or you need funding to you know add staff, marketing, acquisitions, things like that, you know, we can help as well. And so, with that said, you know, our topic today it's the importance of business funding and how to obtain it. The importance of business funding and how to obtain it. So I want to give you some thoughts on how you can obtain business funding. And then, but first, let's just kind of talk about the importance of it. And, you know, and it's simply enough, you know, this allows your business, this allows your gym to move in the right direction. And that's really the, the bottom line of this, because if you're brand new, and you're looking for funding, you're going to need it at some level. You're going to need funding to, you know, to do finish out, to, uh, you know, to cover costs while you're ramping up. You know, you're going to need uh, these additional funds. Uh, if you're already in business, you're trying to get back on course, you're going to need it. Um, you know, one of the great rules of the fitness industry, uh, at least the folks that have long-term success, is you want to keep your business as new today as the day that it first opened. Okay, so you're constantly, you know, adding to it. You're you're maintaining the current technologies and and what's happening in the industry. And then from a financial standpoint, basic rule of thumb, you should have a bare minimum of one month operating capital on hand. So if it costs you, say thirty, forty thousand a month to run your business, you want to have that much cash on hand. You may find. You might need 90 days worth, and certainly we found this the last few years that you know the folks that had that additional cash reserve were the ones that did the best and kind of survived the storm. And uh, so you're going to need funding for a number of different things. You know, my suggestion is you're always looking for it. You always have it right there at your fingertips. If you look for it when you need it, it might be too late. Okay, so let's let's talk about uh, some ways to obtain funding or something similar. And so uh, the first one on my list is, you know, you bootstrap the operation. Okay. In other words, you only pay for what keeps you in business. And, you know, this is a strategy we use a lot of times in turnarounds is we'll go in and initially, you know, we'll bootstrap this. All we will pay is what keeps us in business. You know, we have to keep the lights on. We have to keep the utilities. We have to do those kind of things. So we'll pay what keeps us in business. Now we'll communicate you know, with our creditors, that's another topic. You know, we'll certainly offer communication. But we're going to bootstrap this and run this, you know, really lean and mean. Now, the thing you want to remember, though, is you're never going to cut your way into growth. We can cut our way to kind of get the business back on track and get it stabilized and get it ready to perform. But it won't be a long-term strategy. But bootstrapping can be a, a way to do this, <clears throat> at least to be a bridge for you, you know, to go to another level. Uh, number three, you know, loans from family and friends. Loans from family and friends. And this is a, a great resource for really anybody. And what I would suggest you do is go to your power base, okay? And what I'm defining as your power base is probably everybody in your phone. Everybody you know, people that know you, love you, trust you, want to see you be successful. Make sure they know exactly what you're doing and what you're looking for. Okay, and maybe they're not able to, to offer you know financial help. They might be able to offer a referral for you that could. Okay, I mean just say you had a hundred people in your phone. You probably have more than that. Let's say you had a hundred people there. You know that's a lot of contacts, and you know many times all it takes is one. Okay, so you know look at loans from family and friends. That can be a resource. And the thing is, we're always looking. You know, always looking. Uh, number four, you know, credit cards. 
It's a great resource, particularly for a lot of startups, because you know when you first start in business, you don't have the history, you don't have the background. It's going to be a little more expensive, you know, to get started. It's a little more expensive to, you know, to get money to get deals done. Okay, but you know, credit card funding can help you do that. Can help get you over the hump. Um, number five. You know, crowdfunding sites. Now, these are certainly there. I know a lot of folks have used them and tried them. Um, you know, you, you want to be really creative with this because usually, you know, from what I've seen, it takes something a little more unique, a little more different. Make sure you have good incentives in there. Make sure you're really able to promote it. But, you know, crowdfunding sites, you know, can be an opportunity for you, you know, to get this done. And I would suggest, you know, give a little more than you might ordinarily, you know, give. Because keeping in mind, if we're using some of these things, it will be more expensive than, you know, five years from now when you're more established. Um, number six on our list, you know, bank loans. You know, this is the first thing that people think about, you know, when it comes to funding. I'll, I'll get a bank loan. And they're not always easy, you know, as it, as it might seem, okay. And particularly, I know a lot of folks that want to do, you know, SBA funding. You know, and we can help you with SBA funding. Those things can happen. But it can take as much as six months to get an SBA loan done. They're going to want collateral, you know, maybe your home, okay? So those things can take a little longer. There will be collateral involved, and they may want some other things. There may be some other requirements in there. And then finally, on my list of, um, you know, how to obtain, uh, you know, funding for your business is, you know, funding companies. You know, this is where we can help. Okay, if you're a new club startup, we can help you with funding. If you're an existing operation, we can help you with funding. Even if you're struggling, okay, as long as you've been in business for at least three months and you're bringing in at least 5000 a month in revenue and you show you can make the payment, we can help you too. So, you know, funding companies are a great way to do it. You know, the benefits of, uh, of what we can help you with with a funding company, it's going to be quick. It's going to be simple. Probably get your money in about a week. Okay, will be a little more expensive than what it's going to be five years from now when you're more established, but you can get it and you can get the ball rolling. So some different thoughts, different ways on how you can obtain funding for your business. My message is always be looking, never not be looking and make sure you've got your cushion. You got one month, you know, 90 days of reserves and that reserves could be a line of credit. Okay, or it could be cash. Make sure you have that, but always be looking for funding. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. Uh, if you've not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And again, to learn more about me and how we can help take your business to that next level, please check out those links below. And we'll see you all in that next video.